In this video, we're going to go through the types of IMF, or intermolecular forces. The essential question that we're going to be answering are, what are the different types of intermolecular forces, and how do they arise between molecules? All right, so let's begin by differentiating between intramolecular forces and intermolecular forces. So intramolecular forces, we've been talking about already, which are bonds within a molecule. So when you have a bond between a hydrogen atom and an oxygen atom, that is a bond. That's an intramolecular force. Now, intermolecular forces are the attractions that occur between molecules. Just like we have the interstate that you drive on to go from Illinois to Wisconsin, intermolecular forces, again, are those attractive forces that occur between molecules. So you could have two water molecules, for example. Intermolecular forces are the um, attractive forces that are occurring between those two water molecules. All right, so there are four types of intermolecular forces that we're going to discuss. The first one is London dispersion forces, or LDF. Now, LDF is an extremely weak force that happens between molecules or atoms. So in our atom, we've got electrons that are orbiting the nucleus, and at any given moment, you have an uneven distribution of electrons. So electrons are going to be on, you're going to have more electrons on one side of the atom than the other, and that's going to create a temporary dipole. So you'll have a positive end where you'll have fewer electrons, and you'll have a negative end where there are more electrons. This creates a, like I said, temporary dipole. Bigger atoms or molecules are going to have stronger London dispersion forces because you have more chance for electrons to shift unevenly. An example of a molecule that contains London dispersion forces is CH4, which is a nonpolar molecule. All right, dipole dipole forces are attraction. Uh, is an attraction that occurs between molecules with permanent partial charges. So it will only occur in polar molecules. Dipole-dipole forces will not occur in nonpolar molecules. Again, the key here is understanding that it occurs in molecules that have permanent partial charges. In nonpolar molecules, you don't have a permanent dipole. Okay. Again, London dispersion forces are temporary shifts, whereas dipole-dipole forces are permanent, uh, uh, permanent dipoles on a molecule. So again, these will only occur in polar molecules such as CH2, Cl2. All right. Hydrogen bonding is a special type of dipole-dipole force, which occurs in molecules that contain HF, HO, and HN bonds. Now, an easy way to remember uh, these bonds, because there are three of them, is they spell out phone, F-O-N. So H-F-H-O-H-N. This is a stronger type of dipole-dipole force. So dipole-dipole is already stronger than London dispersion. Now, if you have hydrogen bonding, that's even stronger because it has um, one of these three types of bonds. All right, the final type of intermolecular force that we're going to discuss today is ion dipole. Ion dipole is an attraction that, uh, that occurs between a charged ion and a polar molecule. So again, this only occurs with polar molecules. And if you forgot, ions are particles with a uh, positive or negative charge, like sodium with a plus one charge or chlorine with a minus one charge. So if you recall, when you have an ionic compound such as sodium chloride, when it dissolves, it will split into its ions, positive sodium and negative chlorine. And if you have a polar molecule like H2O, those ions are going to be attracted. So the positive ion will attract to the negative end of water and vice versa. Okay, so to summarize, these are the four intermolecular forces. London dispersion, dipole-dipole, hydrogen bonding, and ion dipole. Okay, so I just want to differentiate between these really quick. So when you have London dispersion, all molecules. Now, a key thing to remember is... Polar molecules, this is the only type of IMF present in nonpolar molecules. Polar molecules will have the other ones. So polar molecules will, of course, have London dispersion, but they will also only have, or every polar molecule will have dipole-dipole. Some 
will have hydrogen bonding if one of these three bonds is present. And then if you have a polar molecule and an ion, you'll have ion dipole. And those are the intermolecular forces.